Hi friends. I saw a quote this week that said, the divine resides in you. Those you despise, the same. Stinks, doesn't it? And it was posted on social media. And so the comments around this quote kind of went downhill pretty quick as oft it does with people arguing about how as Christians we are called to be loving and not have hatred in our heart and how can we despise people. But I was thinking about the actual point of the quote and obviously it was done with a little bit of jest, you know, that it stinks that God loves everyone even those we don't agree with. And I was thinking, you know, with the emotions of elections, with the emotions tied to things that are really, really important and things that we feel really passionately about. And we know that the loudest voices are often the ones that are on the extreme. And so I think that makes it so much easier to, you know, vilify those that, that think different than us and to be able to say or feel or think that maybe not despise, but those negative feelings for those people. How could anyone think that? How could people do this to me? How could people, you know, whatever it might be, we have these really negative thoughts about it because we are hearing these loud voices from those on the far edges. And so I was thinking that, you know, when it really comes down to it, whatever way that we vote today or earlier than, than that, that there is someone that we know and care and respect and love who voted the other way. That's a fact. We, we know that there are people that we know and love and who feel passionately about their family and their community who do not agree with us. And so reminding ourselves that while some of the voices that maybe we do feel really uncomfortable with, that we are really angry about, those people that maybe we might even come close to despising, that there are just as many people that believe that who are loving and kind and making the best choices they feel for their family. And regardless of what it is that all of these people are filled with the Spirit of God and loved by our God and are dwelling places of the Holy One, that these are not the enemy. This is not those to despise. This is not the villain in the story. These are our neighbors. These are the ones that God beams upon and considers to be children. So something to think about this week, that you are a dwelling place of the Holy One, and so is the other guy too. Have a good week, friends.